Welcome to All Things Real Estate CRM. My name is Gary David Hall. Last but not least, we'll take a look at the mobile version, user interface, the UI, of which it's definitely one of the top ones on the market. Uh, you, if you were to look at this screen on your phone, you'd go blind in short order trying to maneuver around on this. So this is a user interface, a UI, designed to be used on a desktop. They designed a different UI to be used on the phone. That looks like this. One heck of a lot easier to see than the desktop version on your phone. There are, there's a lot of information on here. If I go to the contacts, I can look people up by contact type, which is uh, top producers categories, or I can just key in a last name, hit enter, comes the person, and I get a fair amount of information down here. I have my notes, any tasks that are upcoming are listed here for Kathy, as well as uh, action plans that are in place. And I can launch action plans from the phone. That's unique as far as I can remember with any of these uh, mobile UIs. If I click the tasks again, I can see the tasks that are completed. And this is outstanding for uh, a situation where you have an assistant because not only can you view the task, but if you have an assistant and they made notes, you can also see the notes. Not to mention if you just don't remember the notes you made. You also, again, can view, uh, and it's not set up here, but you can view her email here. You can view any properties that you have had or, or are in the process of, of doing with this contact. And their significant other, family members and such. Your business for the day, your calendar. Click on a time. I can make my appointment. And what's critical here is that you can link this appointment to a contact or a listing and or a closing. Which means that anything, any, anything you do here is going to appear in the history of the contact or the listing or the closing that you set it up with. Uh, oh, and you also have your tasks for the day at the bottom here. Notes in chronological order, or you can filter them by people or by properties, by listings, closings. Properties will save you a great deal of time because when Kathy calls and says, hey, I lost the loan originator's email address, you can just go to the parties, go to the loan rep, and give her the email address. You also have your follow-up coach. So if you're twiddling your thumbs at an open house, you can tap call, call Kim. If it's not successful call, you cancel. If it is, again, I love the prompts, yes. So it's going to add it to the activity history. Because you're on your phone, you can talk your note in and schedule a follow-up if you care to. And last but not least, your sales pipeline. So if you have a new lead that comes in, you click on, you will be notified by task or, or yeah, by text or by email. You come in, you say, okay, here's the new lead. You click on it. It actually tells you how long it's been since this, con this uh, lead 
was originated. Uh, again, remember I said this is a demo database, either that or I'm the worst follower upper in the history of real estate. I get the information they gave me. I can launch a follow-up plan, again, right from the phone. And if I do speak with them, again, I'm prompted to make a, a note and or a follow-up. So the mobile phone version of Top Producer is sweet. You've been watching All Things Real Estate CRM. My name is Gary David Hall. My site is GaryDavidHall.com. Please take advantage of the almost 100 pages of content about virtually nothing except real estate CRM. And by all means, if you need help selecting a CRM, that is what I do. Thank you.